I'd like to show you how you can make your images even more interesting by making them into shapes. This is my conclusion, and I'm stating that it is safe for people 6 to 69. So I would like to have several pictures of people of different ages doing CrossFit. In this case, I'm going to settle for just exercising. So I'm going to choose Insert, Image, and Search the Web. I'm going to choose this one here of a child exercising, so I'm going to insert that. It's fairly large, so I'm just going to make it a lot smaller and put it down here. And let's do that with two others. Okay, so I have three pictures, and I'd like to make them more interesting by making them into circles and then overlapping them onto one another. So I'm going to select the first image and choose the crop icon. Next to the crop, you're going to see a drop-down arrow. Let's choose that, and we're going to choose shape, and I'm going to choose the circle. And you can see that it crops it into an oval for me. I'm going to double-click on the image, and now I have my black crop lines like we saw before. I'm just going to bring these in a little bit more to make it more of a circle. And I can move the picture around inside the circle by just grabbing it and dragging it. So I'm going to undo the cropping now, or turn the cropping off rather, by clicking the Crop Image tool again. Now I can resize it and make it a little smaller. And just keep making it smaller, putting it right here. I'm going to repeat that for the other two images. All right, so now I have all three images. And I'd like to place this one here in the middle this one on top of it, and then this one on top of it as well. But this guy is sitting on top and I want him to be behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on him, right click, and choose order. Tell him to send backward. And now you can see he's behind this one. I'm going to do that again. Order, send backward, and now he's behind both of these. So that's how you can choose what goes in front of what. And now I have my three images cropped into circles to make them a little bit more interesting and then placed on top of one another by right-clicking and using the Order tool.